Summer Kids Crafts with Miss Missy. Move over, because now it's time for a fun craft about none other than me. <laughs> but before we do that, I want to take you to a farm so you can see some cows yourself. What's a cow say? Move over! Welcome to our little farm. This happens to be one of our favorite cows. This happens to be the bull. He's not always very friendly. Some of our cows happen to have their young. Here's two little calves playing with one another in the pasture. Aren't they sweet? What do the cows say? Moo! Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Missy with Lone Star College Scythe here in Harris County Public Library. And today I'm going to show you a quick little craft. As you saw before, there are some really fun pictures of some cows. Um, I'm pretty lucky that I can go um, to a farm and I can actually see um, cows anytime that I want. Um, but we're not talking about the cattle that you might see on your everyday farm as you're, tra as you're traveling through uh, Houston. Um, what I am talking about is a dairy cow today. So we're going to make a craft and our craft is going to be with simple things that we might already have around our house. And this is our cow sock puppet. And what, are our, what does our cow say? Moo! So we're going to get together and I'm going to show you how to make this very easy sock puppet craft. Supplies needed are a sock, black or brown felt, pink felt, glue stick, scissors, a marker, and wiggle eyes. Step one, you're gonna take black felt or brown felt and your sock. My sock just happens to be a leftover sock that I didn't have a match to. You're gonna take about a square of your black felt and you're going to measure it out so you can make a small circle or circle-ish. You're gonna make sure that you have two of them because these are going to be the patches around the cow's eyes. So now we have two. Now we also need ears. So you're gonna take, you're gonna take your black felt, get a small piece, and we're going to be making some ears. So we're just going to make almost kind of leaf shapes from our, from our felt. And I did two and cut it right in half. And then we have two ears. Now we've got our pink felt. We need to make a nose for our cow. So it's easier to do just to draw it on there. So I draw a rough circle and then we're going to cut it out. And you'll place it right where the nose would be. Now comes the fun part. Let's glue it all together. So let's glue the nose right onto it. Now you can use wet or you can use the glue stick. Both will work. Now we've got our nose glued on. Now let's move on to the patches around our cow's eyes. So each one will glue on. One. Make sure you get it on there good. Now let's do the second one. Glue, glue, glue. the second one. Now let's move on to those ears. We're just going to gently tack them on at the edges so that way they still have some movement to them. Just a little bit and we'll do right there. Now let's do the second one. Glue, glue, glue and stick it on. Last step. Wiggle eyes! Here they are. So glue those on. Make sure that you get a good amount of glue if you're using a glue stick so that they attach. Oops, they will stick to your fingers. There we go with our second eye. Oop, oop, it won't, there we go. All right, now we've got our eyes on. It's done, but we have to wait for it to dry. There you have it, our completed cow craft. Please make sure that you send us a picture of your completed craft. We would love to see what you did. Until next time, happy reading and crafting. As a last little thing, here's the cows again.
It's awfully hot out, but they like to find shade under the trees and enjoy each other's company. Look how cute they are. Aww. Now, for other programs that we have throughout the week, visit our LibGuides page. Follow the link below. Also, don't forget to sign up for summer reading at hcpl.beanstack.org.